Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. Joseph here. On the show today, we're going to be having some fun with this coffee from Hawaii. Uh, I haven't had this coffee before. Special thanks to my mother for bringing this back from a trip. Thank you, Mom. So we're going to enjoy exploring this coffee and see what it's like. I've been told that this is the, or at least one of the most popular coffees of the locals. I'll have to do another segment or segments on Kona coffee, because I know that's, uh, I mean, Kona is a particular area and it requires, basically it's, it's a very, like the Kona coffee itself is very strictly controlled uh, and it's really all marketing. Um, I've not, honestly, I've not had a Kona coffee that uh, I've enjoyed, so I hope someday I will. But I, I should actually, I should say the same for Blue Mountain. I've, I hadn't had a Blue Mountain I'd enjoyed until last month, uh, so I know it's I know it's possible. I think that as far as like as far as most coffees like that goes, it comes down to just how it's grown and handled and roasted. Um, anyways, that's a whole nother subject. Uh, this is a Kau Coffee Mill uh, estate grown coffee. I don't have any variety information on this, so I don't actually know what it is. Uh, variety wise I just know that it's some kind of medium roasted um, and uh, yeah so let's uh, let me take a smellerino here so the first time I smell uh, what I what I got was uh, what I got was like a chocolate covered graham crackers now it's kind of turning into this sort of fig or fig or date like like that kind of uh, rich fruit sugar smell but with oh maybe like Maybe like creamy uh, chocolate. Maybe like a, maybe like some kind of truffle. Interesting. That's a fun smell. Okay, let's uh, brew this up on the Kalita, and then we'll see how it tastes. All right, we're back. So uh, while brewing this coffee from Hawaii, uh, there wasn't that much of a bloom, which means that there wasn't that much to off gas during the brew. Um, which means the coffee is probably a little bit old. Probably more than a month since it was roasted. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not going to be good, but um, it's probably lost a bit of its vibrancy from when it was fresh. Well, not probably, definitely will have. The smell is nice. That's a nice smooth aroma. Um, it matches with, uh, well, I'll, I'll go through uh, what I experienced and then I'll just uh, tell you what, what um, how they describe this on the website. I probably should have just recorded without doing that, but I was trying to find some information on the variety and that sort of thing, and I ran across the description anyways. It's actually quite, it's actually quite nice. Um, bit of chocolatiness to it. I feel like, um, maybe it's just because I, I know that it's, that it's been a little while. I feel like maybe there's, there's something missing. I can taste like um, the, uh, there's a certain taste that I see sometimes in coffee, which I would describe as the roasted seed which is kind of just like, it's not like a roasty flavor, but it's like the roastedness of the, so it is a kind of a roasty flavor, but it's not a generic roastiness. It's like the roasted seed. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm probably gonna have to explore that and come back to it in a different video. Um, okay, as it cools, I'm getting a bit of fruit. Uh, certainly like a fruity sweetness. This is quite nice. I bet this is spectacular right after it's roasted, actually. I'm just kind of extrapolating from uh, how I know coffee behaves um, following roasting and how uh, vibrancy kind of disappears over time. So I actually get some like melon sort of, uh, there's also kind of a bit of nuttiness going on in there. Not so much chocolatiness on, uh, in taste, uh, definitely an aroma, but not so much in taste. It's more of like a melon sort of sweetness um, with maybe some roasted nuts in there or something like that, like, uh, like roasted walnuts maybe. Yeah, so that's, um, that's a pretty enjoyable coffee. Now, let's see. Um, they said, bright aroma, delicate, but authoritative. I don't know what that means. As far as flavor descriptors, uh, they mentioned plum and citrus. I think I said of the aroma, I detected something like a fig or date and uh, like dried plum could certainly, uh, certainly fit in there. Um, as far as on the taste though, 
I think what I'm seeing as melon could also be seen as plum. Uh, citrus, not so much. Um, and maybe that's just uh, what's been lost in vibrancy, but I don't get citrus on here at all. It's pretty mellow and smooth. Um, no, no lemon, no orange, no zest, nothing like that. Um, so I don't see citrus at all. And, and finally, they, they do kind of a broad description of chocolate aroma and fruit in the cup which uh, I, I think I found as well. I think on the aftertaste, maybe maybe like a chocolatey aftertaste, but that's about it. So I'll link to these folks below. I definitely need to do some more with Hawaiian coffees on the show. And uh, I'm hoping to find some really high quality Hawaiian coffees um, that, uh, that showcase some uniqueness from the islands there. Uh, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. This has been the Kau uh, State Grown Coffee uh, Medium Roast. Uh, hit that like button below. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe. See you in the next show.